care if it is 10 o'clock in the morning. Hey, what's up? I'm Rob Boss. Uh, today we're going to do another landscape. Last week I talked about uh, wet on wet, so we're going to do that shit again today. So try not to fuck it up, alright? First thing I'm going to do, board's already prepped. I'm going to drop in a nice little sky here. Grab some of the blue and just tap it into the bristles. What this does is uh, ensures an even distribution of paint throughout the bristles. Just like we did last week, you want to start at the top, work your way down towards the middle. The reason why you want to start at the top and work your way down is in a landscape, your painting should get, as far as sky and water are concerned, lighter towards the middle, darker at the top. Just going to wash the brush here. Now with the dry brush, what you want to do is just kind of very lightly go across it. All right, it's gonna kind of bring it together a little more and take out any brush strokes that might be in there. Be a nice area to work on. All right now you got your basic sky right there. Just beat it against the leg of the easel to uh, get any excess paint that might still be in there. Um, one thing I forgot to do at the uh, beginning here is what I always do before I paint. And that is a uh, little old smoky apple pine moonshine. I have some right now. I actually had some right before I started painting, but so you all can see. Mm. Yeah, that's good stuff. So now we're gonna keep the same brush that we had. So we're using a dark color, go into the blue again, and um, just wanna put a touch of the green. Just a touch. It's like, see, it's a very strong color and you're gonna mix that right into your blue. Tap it into the bristles, just like we did last week. Work from the outside in, so just bring it from the outside and work that all the way into the horizon there. Little area right here, that's gonna kinda of be like your sheen of light. Um, you still wanna blend it out, and you can go over the entire, with a dry brush, kinda of like bring it together. You know, you're still gonna have that sheen of light. Nothing to worry about there. But as you can see, at that point, you, you know, even with the slight bit of green on your brush from the water, you can even just blend that right up into the sky and you see how that comes together. Nice light even strokes there. You can just give it a little, or you know, or a lot, but this is basically what you should have at this point, okay? You got your basic sky and water right there. All right, now that you got your sky <clears throat> and water laid out, I'm gonna put in some uh, some clouds here so you can just take your fan brush right there, load it up with some white paint. Corner your brush and just pick a spot. Just start laying it in there. side out so I'm gonna do one right here too. Again, just corner of your brush. So we're working it in there. Alright. And one thing I do recommend you do is just have a bunch of brushes going at the same time. And um, you might want to use one for light colors and one for dark colors and it'll save you from having to uh, keep washing because as any, any artist will tell you, this shit is expensive. And while I'm on that point right here, I want to show you something. And that is, you can go to an art store and you can buy this shit, which is a gallon of odorless thinner, for 30 bucks. It's actually 29.95 or some shit like that. 
Or you can go to your local hardware store and you can buy a gallon, just like this, of odorless thinner for $13. If it makes you feel better about buying your shit from an art store, go ahead, it's your money, not mine. Uh, but I'm gonna get my shit at the hardware store for like less than half of the sh same shit right here. It just happens to have the Mona Lisa on it or whatever. <clears throat> so I'm gonna grab my, uh, my two inch brush here and uh, I'm gonna tap out the base of the clouds here, all right? Just like the corner of the brush. And just kind of like, you wanna leave the top of it, top edge alone, but just tap out the base. Bring it up. All right. You do the same thing with this one right here. Just corner your brush, just at the base. Tap it out. Okay. It's kind of like. All right. Shake off any excess. And then we want to fluff it up a little bit. Just very lightly, like a circle motion. You know what I mean? Just fluff it up. Same thing over here, very lightly. And then you got some uh, tiny little hairs coming out here. And what you do is just take your brush again and very lightly just go across. Just very, very lightly. And there you go. Now you got your clouds. If you followed along up until this point, this is what you should have. Right here. If you got something else, not my problem. You figure it out. You want to do your own thing? Fine. All right. I'm going to mix some mountain colors here. So uh, I'm going to do a mountain. So let's grab some of the, I want to get a dark color. So I'm going to grab some of the black here, some of the brown, uh, maybe some crimson. All right. I'm going to mix them all together. All right, black, brown, and crimson. I want a really, really dark color. Mix it all together. Pull it flat out, all right? About like that. All right, what you wanna do is you can just stick your knife in there, cut straight down, and you get a little roll pin on your knife. About like that, all right? So, we're gonna do from here. You wanna pick a spot where you wanna have your mountain. Um, I think I'm gonna start this one right about here. Put your knife in there and just kinda of like dig it right up in there. All right, and there it is. Okay, put your bumps wherever you'd like. All right, and then scrape off all the excess paint. You want to scrape off all the excess paint because, uh, like I mentioned last week, you're more concerned with what's going on up at the top and the edges. All right. Uh, if you ever seen a mountain, even you know, not in person, just on TV or in pictures, you always know that it's uh, a little bit brighter at the top than it is the bottom. Like a dry brush, like this, and just kind of pull out. From the edges, all right. Make sure you don't hit that line, or else you're gonna fuck up your whole mountain. And just pull it right out now. There you go. Okay. Yeah, this one. Boom. This one out from the same. This one. All right. 
remember, you're not really too concerned about what's going on in the middle. So you can actually just kind of like mess around in here with it because it'll make it look like some mist. shadows here. I don't know if you can uh, see that magic rack depth, but that's what you should have. You should have something that looks similar to that.